Welcome! This vlog we're pretending we are at Hogwarts. Tea, chocolate, it's not in shop, we'll make it appear. Ding! Magic! <laughs> Let's start the shop. Suppose to you, freedom's all the same. As long as you know my name, so don't ask me to feel pity, cause I've already So I guess the place to start with five minutes of your vlog being about it with the demons. 50% of your vlog was about the demons. We spent a long time thinking about what your demons were. Like three, four hour train journeys. I feel like you just dismissed all of our decisions. Robbie had a problem with his demon <laughs> choice, but I mean, Sally and Elsie's demons, they were great. With regards to the reasoning behind the lion, I feel like that's very similar to the reasoning behind the hawk. So, you know, if Elsie prefers to be a cat, that's chill. And with regards to Sally, I think the reasoning behind the blue whale is excellent reasoning because she is so social and it's an excellent aspect of her personality. But don't make her a fucking whale where she has to stay in the middle of the ocean forever because demons are like life-size and they have to be in the ocean if they are a sea creature. I don't want to live a life living without Sally. You can Please. Sally, who we love, to live a life on boats, which, uh, <laughs> bring her back to Please. land. And with P. Waka Waka, that makes sense, because part of the reason that we went with Skink in the first place was of all of the small creatures that we felt could, like, hide away in your collar, Robbie, we liked Skink because a native animal, good. as your demon, feels right. Feels good. Back to, uh, our, our demons. demons. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow. Just gonna sip my tea. A peacock. Mm-hmm. A peacock. A peacock. Do you think that my whole personality is how I look? It's not my personality. I thought maybe a fox, because part of Clarice's personality is sort of being protective and like, I don't know, mother foxes are pretty protective of their babies and Clarice cares about babies <laughs> and also like can be quite fierce but also foxes are sort of associated with cunning and I was like that's the Slytherin but like open to more ideas I think yeah. for Clarice I don't think we've found it yet to be honest though Robbie was very offended by us so <laughs> we are allowed to be offended by you I'm anyway I'm offended on behalf of skinks <laughs> that you're so mean about skinks Skinks are offended, man. With regards to the hair, solid reasoning, totally get it. Potentially too obvious. I was wondering if maybe there might be an animal that like shows their emotions a lot because I think that's something that people don't see in me. Like I sort of am feeling a lot all of the time and I think that all that comes across is just like, so, I don't yeah. know. Robbie, you wanted this to be a demon debate. Here you go, You've buddy. You've got a debate. <laughs> Hey, May the debate continue. <laughs> I think you're being a travel journal, which is really boring to read. That's what's in shock because I've written down all of the things we want to say in this vlog. The last time you saw us, we were in Freshfit, Bath, and we said we wouldn't talk about it because we'll talk about it now. What did we do in Freshfit? We swam in a fresh ford. No, it's just a river. One of the days that we were in Freshfit, we decided, great idea, let's go to Cardiff. We went to the Doctor Who experience because we felt we owed it, well I felt I owed it, to younger me who was very excited about Doctor Who. So when we go back to London, The whole crazy. day was spent at Harry Potter World. We got these jumpers! That's the moral of the story is that we spent a lot of money <laughs> on some fancy jumpers. <laughs> Lambs were made in Scotland! These are made by the people who make the jump who made the jumpers for the actual movies. My favourite thing is that it says Ravenclaw and then it has like a little TM for trademark. Yeah. <laughs> because you <laughs> can't just have a thing. They've got to make sure you remember it's trademark. It's real comfy. I would recommend it. I'm, I like it a lot. Oh, so many, so many cool things. The common rooms and just like all the costumes and just all the sets. A fan recognized us it. while we were there. Yeah. And we took a photo with them in front great. of the eagle that like goes up to Dumbledore's office. Yeah, it was really great to meet you. Thanks for coming up to us. It must yeah. feel kind of scary. Yeah. You did it. You did great. <laughs> Harry Potter World was real cool. I would recommend it. I would go I would go again as well. Yeah. Yeah. Really good nerd experience. But a bit and the shop great. was huge. 
see all the options. The merchandise chooses the wizard. And this jumper chose me. You had a choice and you chose the one that's more aesthetically pleasing. I did, maybe I'm the peacock. <laughs> Tea's great. Oh, in Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> no, Start again. Tea's great. In Cornwall, we had cream teas. Which, like, they just come with scones. You get your tea and there's a scone and it comes with clotted cream. Clotted cream was everywhere in Cornwall. People are obsessed with clotted <laughs> cream in Cornwall. Um, and jam. It's, it's like cream that is so whipped that it's like butter. The day before we got sick, we went and saw Baby Driver. Review! Oh, baby Driver review! Baby Driver review! <laughs> Baby Driver review. It's a review of Baby Driver. It's a review. Edgar Wright has a really great style. He's an auteur, and the way you can tell someone is an auteur is by them having a very specific style of filmmaking. And he has it, and I love it. He's great with his editing. It's just bam, 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 bam. And his ideas are so bright. His use of music. If that's all that I was looking for in a film, it would be like four out of five stars. As a woman, even if I wasn't a woman, I'd hope that I was still a feminist. Go into a film looking for the female characters to A, for there to be a bunch, and B, for them to be treated in the narrative and, and by the filmmaker in a good way. The chief issue with the representation of the two main female roles in this movie, they can be divided very simply into two representations of female across many, many films. Sweet and sexy, and that's kind of all they were. Edgar Wright, treat your women better, and maybe your films will be even better! And then we were in France, and it was beautiful, and we were sick. Back to London. We've been to Oxford Street, and we went to the Globe, and watched Much Ado About Nothing. We made a web series about Much Ado About Nothing. Amazing! Sad fun <laughs> fact, we were groundlings, and because of me being really sick recently, I felt like I was gonna faint, so I had to leave for like 10 minutes. As an awful friend, I did not go with her, I kept <laughs> watching the play. I'm, I've gotta say, Harriet, I don't know if you're watching this, but your dog Bree is still the best dog Bree I've ever seen. This morning we had our London meetup. I love meeting you guys. Yes. You were so freaking lovely, and I, I had a great time. Yeah. And it's just so exciting to be like, you know, literally on the other side of the world, meeting people who enjoy Watch your stuff. I'm a relaxed person on a camera. <laughs> I'm so relaxed on a camera. <laughs> I'm so relaxed on a camera. <laughs> who else thinks it's cool? We're the ones making this vlog. <laughs> Something cool that we did at the meetup was we played a little bit of one of the Happy Playland songs. Yeah. Just inserting. In editing, I'm gonna insert. Bum, 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 Ooh. Bum, 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 bum. Um, I don't know. I know. I know what's happening when we're going to put the song out exactly, but that's a cheeky bit of it. And we'll probably play it at some other meetups. Wink. The song is definitely good in context. Yeah. It's also good out of context. Good job, Maxwell Apps. <laughs> you wrote a great song. So many great Real. songwriters. Dylan Kelly, Gene Smith, Kickin' Apps. Also Maud. Yes. Also India of Force. And Elsie Bollinger. Elsie, you're great. I Everyone. love your tunes. Tomorrow, we're going to the London Eye. Look at us being tourists. <laughs> oh yeah, look at London. Tourists. Oh, hopefully it's not pouring with rain. Tourist <laughs> girls visit London. Have a great time. Love, love the London Eye, I think. I think I'm gonna enjoy it. It's up high. Look at us enjoying the London the river that really exists in London. <laughs> yeah, many didn't believe the river existed. <laughs> if okay. you could have any candy from England, what would it be? Better get him quick. <laughs> You're gonna see this and be like, guys, you've already left England. When we watch your next vlog, we'll be in America. What American candy do you want? What's your fave of the film like films that you've been watching? What do you think of Disco Ball? <laughs> what did you think of Baby Driver? Here's the question. If you go to Disneyland, what ride would you go on? Yes. And we'll go on it and we'll think about you. And we'll try film it. Next time you see us, we'll be in America. 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 See After that. you. See you later. See ya, see you later. It's time for us to end. See ya, see you later. <laughs> we'll be back again. Cacitiano. Cacitiano. See you later. Elsie's, 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 Elsie's in the garden, there's a lion statue. There's still a hawk. <laughs> Before you opened it, did you bang it on a table? No, I oh, just like come on. broke it myself. You just bang it, and then it opens up. But I have my own fierce... Woman, let's drink. <laughs>